My name is Adam Wolf. I'm a detective of the supernatural. Two years ago, my sister Allie went missing. I've been looking for her ever since. Each case I solve brings me one step closer to finding her. This is my story. For a couple weeks now, the city's been plagued by strange fire breakouts, with stories all over the news. But what's missing from the news is that there are people disappearing with each new fire breakout. SFPD is keeping this info under wraps. An old buddy of mine from the force, Marv, asked me to help him out with this case. I managed to identify one of the perps causing the fires. I ended up chasing this pyromaniac through the streets. I chased the killer into a dead-end street. He had nowhere to go. Missed me by the skin of my teeth. No more pulling punches. There he goes. Which way did he go? went through one of those three tunnels. Well, which one?
There he is. spaces. As the burning monster fell to the ground, I had this gut feeling it just couldn't shake. This guy was a mere pawn. He was behind the fires, all right. But who was behind him? What the hell? This is not over. All will burn. What the hell was that thing? What's that? It's a cot. I should call Marv and fill him in. Adam, what's the status? I got him. Whatever that guy was, he was no ordinary human. I guessed as much. That's why we called you in on this one. Supernatural is your thing. I'll send a team to your location to set up the scene. Go home, Adam. You did good. Marv was pleased. Me? Couldn't shake off the feeling that the fat has hit the fire. There was nothing more I could do that night. It was time to go home. Sleep would bring me little comfort. I knew the nightmare that was waiting for me all too well. Same as every night. And there she was. My sister Allie. And her disappearance, which keeps haunting me. In my dreams, I'm reaching out to her. She always slips through my fingers. Something wasn't right. Things were not where I left them last night. I had a visitor while I was asleep. A visitor who left clues.
Nothing seems out of the ordinary here. But I'm sure the thief tampered with this area. Well, my visitor left a package for me. Hidden behind the drawer. The moment I held it in my hands, I simply knew. This will change everything. A watch. Why would someone leave me a watch? Hmm. Time is not set. It's a strange symbol. There's some marks on the paper. Three twenty, on the wrapping paper that came with the watch. <sighs> this can't be a coincidence. What in the name of... Was intense. This, 
I saw... I saw the past. 320. The visitor. He left something on my board. Allie, my sister. This is where I kept track of her case. All these years and still not any closer to finding her. That's the last picture of Allie and me, before she disappeared. A photo of her apartment, the way I found it after she went missing. What's this? I know this file like the back of my hand and this wasn't here before. Someone left a message for me. Zakat. That name rings a bell. Zakat Gallery. First that pyromaniac, now this. This place was definitely worth paying a visit. But, first things first. The visitor had to have left fingerprints on the paper. Gotcha. I'll take a photo of it and send it to Marv. He can run it through the database. Hey, Marv. I got a favor to ask. I just sent you a partial fingerprint. Can you run it through your database? Sure, but it'll take some time. Any suspects we should focus on? Nah, I got no idea who might belong to, but just run it against everything you've got. Okay, I'll send it to forensics, and call you when I have something. While Marv works his magic, I'm off to investigate this gallery. No rest for the wicked. The gallery gave off a strange vibe. I knew the security room would be the perfect place to look for clues, given all those cameras. Greetings. I am Saeed Al-Qadir. Welcome to my exhibition. Nice to meet you. Name's Adam Wolf. I've heard of you, Mr. Wolf. You dabble in supernatural things. What brings you here? I'm investigating the recent conflagrations that plague San Francisco. We've had several fires here, but uh, many in San Francisco can say the same. I don't see how I can help you. Do you mind if I had a look around? Not at all, Mr. Wolf, but uh, keep away from the restricted areas. Now, if you'll excuse me, this is a social event after all, and one must mingle. Touch me again and you lose the hand. 
Sorry. I just need to take a look at the information display. This was sure to give me a view of the entire gallery, but the guard would have surely found me and kicked me out. I needed to find a way to stay the night.
some sort of connection here. The fires. They all happen at midnight. I need to spend the night at the gallery. It's a matter of life and death. Sir, I don't know who you are, so please, move along. I'm the detective investigating the recent conflagrations. This place seems to be connected to them somehow. Don't know about any connections, but we did have a couple of fires here. But if I'm to let you spend the night, I'll need to see a badge first. There's Allie's business card. I remember how proud she was when her company made her those. My old cell phone, still in working condition. This thing is indestructible. A metronome, musician's best friend. Helps me stay on beat. this straw man statuette when we were kids. I still keep it with me. This photo of Ali is a few years old. She disappeared shortly after this was taken. This veil is a memento from my first case as a detective of the supernatural. Haunted house stuff. <laughs> Never gets old. point in my police career. This looking glass was a present from Marv when I was made detective. I gave up smoking years ago, but I still keep this lighter. You never know when you're gonna need one. Wow, it's been ages since I played any games. This one was a blast. I'm holding on to this CD. Oh, my comic book collection used to be huge, but most of it was sold to pay the bills. Hey, my old police badge. This actually might still open some doors. Okay, take the keys to my office desk. There's a spare uniform there. Put on a cap or something. Stay inside the guard room until I lock the place up. to do is wait for midnight.
There's a fire in the gallery. I have to get out. I have to put out that fire as soon as possible. Ah, oh, crap. There's no going back now. I'll have to jump. Here goes nothing! The landing was harder than expected. I could barely breathe. But I managed to get myself out of the dumpster. Out of the shadows, Saeed approached. His words rang in my head. Mr. Wolf. You have no idea what you got yourself into. I hope you will survive the experience. After that, I just let go, and the world was swallowed by darkness. I awoke in a strange room. Saeed was there, together with three associates. That demon almost got me, but I had the feeling I wasn't out of the fire just yet. He's seen too much. He should be eliminated. Do you know who this is? He is Adam Wolf, the detective of the supernatural. He can help us with our problem. I don't like it. You hardly like anybody, Fang. Mr. Wolf, please. Excuse our lack of courtesy. We could use your help. Why don't we just start from the beginning, Mr... My name is Antoine de la Croix. These are my associates. We are in grave danger, Mr. Wolf. But as you said, let's start at the beginning. Our story dates quite a while back, Mr. Wolf. My friends and I first met a long time ago. 
We were five warriors, five adventurers, seeking eternal life. Our paths led us to each other, and we all found ourselves at the resting place of Kanjar, the dagger of eternal life. The dagger would bestow its owner the gift of eternal life. We decided to form a union, a pact of blood, and become its owners, all of us. All was well until one of us, Joseph Whitman, died. It broke the pact we made, and the consequences were... dire. A demonic entity was released from the dagger, determined to castigate this breaking of the pact. Since one of us died, we now all have to die. And Mr. Wolf, we don't want to. I can understand the sentiment. Quite. Whitman was a scholar and spent days on end researching our pact and the dagger. His interest seemed obsessive at times. His home might contain some clues as to how the demon can be dealt with. You can find Whitman's address in the lobby. I didn't care much for Whitman or his evergreen buddies, but if that demon wasn't stopped, the entire city would burn to the ground. I took the case.